Hey everybody, uh, it's Mr. Mott. What I want to do today is go through the uh, finding the equilibrium constant of an equilibrium system. Uh, and this is going to be the iron thiocyanate uh, equilibrium. So first thing we're going to do is going to calibrate. And uh, so let's go ahead and get into the calibrate mode. And uh, one thing that we're going to do today is a little bit different when we calibrate is that we're going to be looking at... Um, a blank of the iron nitrate solution. That's your 0 0.2 molar uh, iron nitrate solution. So the reason we're using that uh, is because um, iron nitrate could have some absorbance and we want to make sure that uh, we discount that or kind of get rid of it uh, when we're doing our sample. So my uh, spectroviz has already been up, uh, on a while so I'm going to go ahead and skip the warm-up and then I'm going to finish calibration. And then we'll get on to making our calibration curves. So everything looks good there. Is okay. And uh, so what I'm going to do here, scoop this over a little bit, is now we're going to go to our figure out what our um, peak wavelength is going to be. So I'm going to use my most concentrated sample. All right. And I'm going to give that a little bit of clean off before I put it into the spectroviz. And we're in full absorbance mode, so I'm going to hit play. Let's try that again. There we go. And we should be somewhere around uh, 450 uh, nanometers or so uh, for our peak wavelength. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. There we go. And we're going to try to select that point near there. My finger isn't very good at that, so I'll use the stylus and kind of tweak it so it's really at the peak wavelength as, as we see uh, up and to the right. Um, so I can move that around just a little bit. Uh, and it should be pretty good. That's about right. So my wavelength I'm gonna collect everything at is here about 457.5. Uh, so now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change the um, mode. Okay, so I'm gonna go top left here. I'm gonna change the mode to events with entry. And then uh, we can label this maybe like concentration, C-O-N-C, -C, something like that. And then we'll units, we can put capital M for molarity. All right. There we go. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to overwrite uh, something I already had in here. So I'm going to overwrite that because my data wasn't great. Hit save, we're gonna overwrite it. Now, uh, before we can do this, one thing to recognize here is that um, what we've done so far for our standards that we've used 0.2 molar iron nitrate solution in the 0.002 potassium thiocyanate solution, the SCN minus. Um, and the reason we're doing that is so that uh, the reason we have such a high concentration of the iron solution in comparison to the um, thiocyanate is because we want to basically uh, push the reaction all the way to the right um, and the concentration of the thiocyanate is going to be the concentration of the complex that we formed um, which you can kind of see in our sample is a nice brown reddish brown color um, so it's almost like a limiting reactant situation so that's kind of what we have going on so i'm going to start collecting my data and then what I need to do is enter the concentrations of all my solutions. So for my five solutions, and I'm going to start at the most concentrated one I have since it's already in the spectra of is. Uh, the most concentrated solution, I took five milliliters. I took actually for all of these, I took five milliliters of the 0.2 molar iron nitrate solution in, in, hydro, uh, in nitric acid. And I added, uh, in this case, five milliliters of the 0.002 molar um, thiocyanate solution, then I mix the five milliliters of the, of the iron nitrate with four, three, two, and one uh, for my other standards. So uh, you want to be able to calculate your concentrations of these um, prior to this mode because what you want to do, you want to be able to enter the concentrations into the spectra of this. So I'm going to start collecting data. And then um, once my absorbent stabilizes, which is pretty much is around 0.64 up here in the upper right, uh, I'm gonna hit keep. 
and then I'm going to enter my concentration. You want to do this in a decimal form, um, not in scientific notation. So this is, my concentration is 2 times 10 to the negative 4th. So it means there's three zeros and then our 2. And we'll hit OK. And then I'll start switching it out for the other cuvettes, the other standards. And keep entering them in there. Once I see my absorbent stabilize, okay. then we'll start keeping our data. And you can always adjust the, um, and maybe strike through a data, if you, data point if you need to. I'm gonna hit keep, and then my concentration for this one is 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative four. So three zeros, and then the one six. Doing this for our other samples, making sure we have a nice clean cuvette right in between. It looks like the absorbance is pretty stable. Press keep. This concentration is 1.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. So change that there. Hit OK. And we'll do this for our other samples as well. Concentration of my next one is 8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So it looks like my absorbance is pretty stable. So we're going to press keep. So since this is 8 times 10 to the negative fifth, I need four zeros and then my 8. And graphically, you know, if everything is kind of on track with it, um, we should see sort of a a downward trend, which we do in our absorbance values. All right. And last standard that we have here. That seems kind of weird. That seems kind of high. Oh, that's because I had the cuvette turned the wrong way. Got to be careful about that. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. All right, so it looks like we're kind of stable there. And my last concentration, so let's go ahead and keep that data. Uh, my last concentration is 4 times 10 to the negative fifth. So I'm going to change that to a 4 there um, and hit OK. Uh, so I've got all my data points there, and so we could do a couple things at this point. Um, we could stop collecting our data, um, or at this point, what we can do is that you can read your equilibrium system now. So what we've done is this is basically keeping a calibration curve, um, and I could do a couple things here. One, I could, um, and I'll just kind of show you both ways. I can stop collecting my data now or if you have your equilibrium sample set up, uh, you could just read the absorbance of it and write that down on a separate uh, sheet of paper. Um, um, but we're gonna end up coming back to our equilibrium system. But if you read your sample at this point, just don't keep the data, all right? This is our unknown sample, so it's not part of our standard or known concentrations of solutions. So I'll kind of show you both ways and hopefully it'll work both ways. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in my sample that I mixed. Now my sample, this is my equilibrium sample. Uh, and I mixed five milliliters of the 0 .002 uh, uh, SCN minus uh, solution, the potassium thiocyanate, and five milliliters of the 0 .002 molar um, iron um, nitrate solution. So I mix those together and that's my equilibrium system. Let's go ahead and put that in here and read it. So what you would want to do at this point, you would want to just record this piece of this uh, absorbance value, and we're going to use it in a little bit. Okay, so I'm at 0.267 for my absorbance. All right. So 0.267. Let me write 
that down. So I'm gonna stop collecting my data here and I'll show you a couple things. Um, one, let's go ahead and just um, save this data. We're gonna just save it as that same document name that we had before, save early, save often. So we're gonna save that and we're gonna overwrite the file, okay? Now, what we should be able to do to read our absorbance of our unknown is that we could go back to um, this screen here, uh, hit in the top left corner and put our sample in, our equilibrium sample, and it should just read the, the same absorbance value that we did before, which it looks like it's going to. Um, so that's, that's absorbance of our unknown, our, of, our, of our equilibrium system here, and it's reading that. So we need that value, right? We had recorded it before at 0.267, somewhere around there, 0.269 it's reading now. Um, and we're gonna go back to our graph. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the graph and then, whoops, that's not the right one. What's going on here? There we go. Um, and I'm gonna go under Analyze, and I'm gonna do a curve fit of our absorbance, and I'm gonna do a linear fit. And I'm gonna hit OK. Now, in previous labs, we needed like our slope and everything like that. Um, we could use that later on, but we're, we're, we're just gonna use it to interpolate. We could use the absorbance value as our Y. We have M and B, and we can solve for X, which is our concentration. We can also just interpolate as well. Let's hit OK. And so if I'm gonna to to analyze and interpolate, then I can draw anywhere along this line to be able to figure out, oops, to be able to figure out what the concentration of my um, equilibrium system is, all right? And so we said the absorbance was 0.267, so I'm gonna move this along until my absorbance reads that value. Uh, and then you can always use like these buttons down here uh, if you want as well. For some reason it's not playing nice today. So let's see how we get. Hmm. Technical issues here this morning. So we had about 0.267 or 0.27. So that's pretty close. So uh, some reason these buttons aren't working, they normally work. I might have hit something that's weird or let's say it's just not working for me. So um, that's how we would do that. And for some reason, it's not showing me my concentration down here, um, which is kind of weird. Um, so if that happens, um, again, I might have pressed something kind of weird. Um, if that happens, you can use always use your slope formula, but normally what you would do is you show your concentration down here. And then by calculating using your, your slope formula, um, you could calculate that and it would, should match what we have for the interpolation um, and that sort of thing. So I'm not exactly sure why that is. I'm just gonna kind of get out of this screen and maybe come back to it maybe. Um, and, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, so I'll tell you what, I don't know why this will work, but let's see if it does. I'm just gonna reopen the file and maybe whatever I pressed will kind of go away. So let's see, let's try that one more time. Linear fit, and then, oh, then we wanna interpolate. Yeah, it's not showing the concentration, very strange. Um, but again, that's kind of how you would do it. Um, and normally tell us our concentration. What we're gonna have to do is use our slope formula to be able to figure it out, uh, which is no big deal. Uh, but that's the idea behind uh, our lab. And uh, what we're gonna do is use the concentration of our unknown as the concentration of our FSCN2 plus complex, the brown complex, um, at equilibrium and we'll use that in an ice table to do our calculations. Thanks for watching.